Hey guys, it's Lainey and today is Top 5 Wednesday. Today's Top 5 Wednesday topic is our Top 5 most anticipated pre-orders for the rest of the year. So, you know, it's just books that are coming out soon or towards the end of the year that we are most looking forward to buying and possessing and reading. First, of course, I'm shouting out one booktuber and one blogger. And the booktuber I'm shouting out is Cece from Problems of Book Nerd. One, I want her glasses. Two, I wish I could pull off her hair. I can't. She hasn't been booktubing very long, but she's been putting up a lot of videos. And I like when I clicked on her channel and I was looking through all her videos, she has a big wide variety of stuff. She's doing read-alongs, she's doing Top 5 Wednesday, she's doing book hauls, uh, tags, etc, etc. I want you guys to check her out because she's so bubbly and so much fun. I was smiling while I was watching her. And for my blogger, I'm shouting out Jessica from Chronic Cacti. I think I'm pronouncing that right. Jessica's blog is so appeasing to the eye. Like I, when I saw it, I'm like, ooh, and it like made me like look. I loved the geometric shape she used. I really like some of her blog posts, especially the music um, blog posts that she posts for inspiration of different readings and such and such. And I really, really liked looking through those because I love finding new music and I definitely found some good music through her. Now let's get on to my top five most anticipated pre-orders for the rest of the year. That was a mouthful. Coming in at number five is the sequel to Zodiac by Romina Russell, which is Wandering Star. I am very much looking forward to this. I enjoyed the first book. There's a lot of information that you, we are given in the first book, and I'm really looking forward to see where the story is going, and also visiting more of the planets, because I really liked the world building, even though there's a lot of world building in the first book. I'm so looking forward to um, exploring more of the other astrological signs as planets. We've already been to my astrological sign, which is Libra, but uh, Romina has said in the past that there are like underwater planets that we're going to see in the second book, and I'm really, really looking forward to that. I think it's going to be great. Coming in at number four is the sequel to Fire in the Woods by Jennifer M. Eaton, which is Ashes in the Sky. One, I love these covers for these books. They are so pretty, and I Mm, I can't wait to get the physical copy, so they're going to look so good next to each other. I would say this is my favorite alien romance novel I've ever read. I really, really enjoyed this book, and I did a non-spoiler book review of it last summer, I believe. I also interviewed Jennifer I mean, at Book Con. From the way this one ended, I am so looking forward to the second book. I'm going to really try to reread this book before the second book comes out because I want to experience this book again. I have not been saying the release dates for these books. Wandering Star comes out in the beginning of December and Ashes in the Sky comes out September 1st. Coming in at number three is the sequel to Thousand Pieces of You by Claudia Gray, which is 10,000 Skies Above You. These are also beautiful covers. Like, I cannot ever get over how pretty this cover is. I'm very much looking forward to what is happening next. This is like a one interdimensional traveling book that I can actually follow without getting confused. I'm just so pumped for the storyline in the second book. Coming in at number two is Dream Strider by Lindsay Smith. Lindsay Smith actually wrote Secret and Scandal, which I haven't finished Scandal yet, but I so, so much enjoyed Secret. I really, really like her writing style. She's very much into Russia and political and espionage. And Dream Strider is actually a espionage political thriller set in a fantasy world where the main character can walk through dreams. I'm very pumped to read it. I really like the cover of this book. It comes out in October and I'm just, I'm waiting. Like, I want this book so bad. I'm pretty sure you can guess what my number one's going to be. Frozen Tides by Morgan Rhodes, the fourth book in the Fallen Kingdom series. This is going to be a six book series. Just putting it out there because I still see some people saying that it was a trilogy, which doesn't make sense because the fourth book is coming out. I'm just going to like hold myself up in a cave for the entire 24 hours that I will be inhale reading it and then probably rereading it and rereading it, and then rereading the series, and then reading the spinoff, and then just, I'm just gonna surround myself with all things Fallen Kingdoms during the month of December, and if anybody else wants to join me on that, there will be drinks. And that's it for my top five most anticipated pre-releases for the rest of the year. What about you guys? What books are you guys looking forward to that haven't come out yet? They're coming out at the end of the year. I'd really love to know. Hope you guys all have a really great Wednesday, and I'll see you guys very soon. Bye!